By now you'll be familiar with the basic operations of a waiting area. That's where a patient enters a call queue and a clinician, who has been given a service provider role, joins them for a video call. Some people may wish to have receptionist make initial contact with the patient, perhaps for data processing, before the patient is joined by a clinician. Perhaps the easiest way to achieve that is to create a reception waiting area where the patient will be met by the receptionist as well as the clinical waiting area where the patient will be joined by the clinician. As far as the platform is concerned, both reception and clinic are exactly the same thing, standard waiting areas. The ability to move patients from one waiting area to another is where the referrer role comes into play. The link sent to the patient would be for the reception waiting area rather than the clinical one. If someone has the referrer role for a waiting area, they can refer patients to it. Therefore, a receptionist requires the service provider role in the reception waiting area to meet patients there, and the referrer role in every clinical waiting area they will have to forward patients onto. We've covered adding users before. The service provider role allows somebody to see a patient. The referrer role allows somebody to transfer a patient they've joined in another waiting area to this waiting area. Let's see a reception in action. Here we see a waiting area with the patient in the queue. A receptionist joins the patient in a call. Patient details can be checked and amended. The patient is then passed on to the correct clinical waiting area. Once transferred, the receptionist can hang up. Once they've left the call, the receptionist is taken back to the reception call queue. When the patient is transferred, our clinician can see the patient waiting in the clinical waiting area's call queue. They can now join in a call with the patient. In our example, the clinician has been given a referrer role in the reception waiting area. This means, at the end of the patient consultation, they can either end the call for both of them or transfer the patient back to reception where the receptionist can meet with the patient again, perhaps to book another appointment. At this point, the patient is visible in the reception call queue, where the receptionist can join them in a call again. When the clinician leaves the call, they are taken back to their clinic's call queue. 